Welcome back into the morning rush. Going to go here to SEC Media Days. Welcome in Marty Smith of Marty and McGee. Marty, we got a lot of football, a lot of food to get to. But I, w- I want to ask you, from a guy that has never, ever been to a NASCAR race, not a single one, what is the first one I need to go to? Talladega, Alabama in October is my favorite race every single year. It's the authentic NASCAR experience because – You get the sensory overload that makes NASCAR so cool. You're going to have pack racing where literally anybody can win. And uh, it's Alabama, man. It's awesome. (laughs) I've I've had buddies that have gone to that event, and they've parlayed it with an Arkansas-Alabama weekend. So they've gone to Tuscaloosa and then done that. So they've made a a whole thing out of it. Now, you've been on not just SEC towns, but various towns across the country, Dega, um, different college football venues. Marty, you've had some good food. I don't know how you're so skinny, man. (laughs) What what is the best – pit stop that you got to go to on your travels across college football i prefer to use the word lean not skinny <laughs> even though skinny is well, probably the accurate term i'm a of course i'm a country boy so i'm a big barbecue guy okay. and dreamland in t-town is a staple of excellence but then you go down to baton rouge and you get some of that gumbo i was talking to austin deculus here at SEC Media Days on Monday about his granny's gumbo <laughs> down there in Cajun territory. He's like, man, you can't get that in a restaurant. Well, what's the recipe? We don't know because it's just throwing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That is one thing about working so much in the South. Every single town you go to has great food. Marty, how did you do it? I, I remember the first time seeing you do a stand-up at a NASCAR, and I, I heard this voice, and I had to turn and see the TV, and the what I saw on the TV didn't match the voice, and you, you've, you've transformed this, this wonderful career from covering NASCAR to riding along to, to the office with Nick Saban, covering the heights of college football. Man, you've done a great job. How, how did all of this, uh, this blessing come your way? With, I'm sure it's hard work, but, man, what, what a great career you've put together. I, I always go back to kind of the, the way I try to live my life. I don't always succeed. I'm a flawed man, but – kindness effort and passion uh every single day when we wake up the vast majority of what we face are uncontrollables like we just don't control the outcome of of whatever it is but when i wake up every day i control how kind i'm going to be i control how hard i'm willing to work if i'm willing to give every last ounce of everything i am towards whatever goal the whatever the goal is and i control if i'm going to have an undeniable positive energy those are me I decide that. And so that's just been – people ask me all the time, man, how did you do it? What, there is no, no like, direct path or formula, and that's just how I've tried to do it. And these coaches and players and athletes and golfers and horse racing trainers and NASCAR drivers, they've been kind enough to give me their time and perspective. What? And so I've just been so grateful for those blessings. What's the one event you haven't been a part of yet that – you still hope to, to cross off the bucket list of, of things you want to do it during during your career? Um, when you have to hesitate, that means you've been really fortunate. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say the Monaco Grand Prix in Formula One. Okay. Yep. I mean, That's I've a good been, travel ticket. So. Yeah, I mean, I've been blessed enough to cover, I mean, the, the, the Masters yeah. every year for ESPN, the PGA Championship. The Kentucky Derby, Preakness, Belmont Stakes, college football playoff, national championship, Final Four. I mean, uh, what's I, left? I, I, it's a I long just, list, Tommy. Yeah, I just don't. Left? I don't. I, I I feel embarrassed. I'm sorry if, to your listeners. That probably sounds so conceited. It's not meant to, but I'm really grateful for the the blessing to get to do those things. And mm-hmm. look, there's an expectation of you. When a company like ours affords you those platforms, you better be good at it. Because if you're not, you're gone. And so I work really hard to be prepared. I believe excellence lives at the intersection of preparedness and passion. Marty Smith, ESPN with us here on the Morning Rush. Only got about a minute or two left. Marty, Tommy brought up Nick Saban. Have you ever made him laugh? Hell yeah. I made him laugh a lot. And, and, in fact, I just did a big piece with him before the PGA Championship with Mark Blackburn, who's the pro, head pro here at Greystone Country Club right here in Birmingham. And because he was coach of the year in the PGA, Coach Saban was coach of the year in college football, and we got them together for a piece we did. 
and I was just killing him. I mean, I was like, like the, what do you mean? The greatest coach of all time can't be coach. You can't handle coaching. And he, he started laughing his tail off. So, uh, yes, I've made him laugh. Uh, there is a guy in there who can laugh. And it was funny, Najee Harris, if you remember after, I think it was when they won the SEC title last year, coach was emotional. I mean, he had tears in his eyes talking about the perseverance and the vigilance that that team had to have to be that great. Cotton swabs up their nose three days a week. Self-discipline, all those things. And he got emotional. And Najee goes, holy cow, there is a heart in there. There's a heart in that chest. So, yeah, it's funny. Marty, before we let you go, Sam Pittman, year two. In your mind, what does he have to do this college football season for Arkansas to walk away successful. He, he has to keep doing what he's done, and that's galvanize a fan base, galvanize a culture within that locker room. It's shifted from Chad Morris. Anybody can see that. I think his coaching staff is phenomenal. Barry Odom is one of my best buddies in the world. He is a great defensive football coach. Continue to recruit great players. That's vital. And, and continue to build that culture. It's going to take time. It's like I've been talking about Shane Beamer a lot because Shane and I grew up together. Mm -hmm. I believe that he has the goods to do something great at South Carolina, but you can't expect it to happen overnight. There has to be time. There has to be patience. We're going to be down there, I expect, early in the season, so we can't wait to get down there and see you guys. A little preview. Marty Marty and McGee right here on the weekends. Can't miss that. Marty, appreciate you. We appreciate you all. Thank you for your passion.